Great stuff. Now we are on to optimizing your Instagram business's accounts bio. And what this is, is it's 150 characters that you get to sell your account to your potential audience. So you get 150 characters to describe what your business is about, what you stand for, and try and convince someone to push the follow button. That is the purpose of our bio. In this lecture, I'm gonna be going into detail exactly how you can do this for yourself. But right now, it's important to recognize where the bio is on your Instagram account. As you can see, my account screenshot is in front of you. And the Instagram bio is that right there, the highlighted yellow box between your name and your website. So those two aren't included. It's just the non-bolded or non-linked text. That is your bio. You get 150 characters. Let me show you how to get the best use out of these characters. So the first and probably most important point that I want to stress when creating your bio is what you really want to do is sell your Instagram account. A lot of people who have a business profile on Instagram actually try and sell products or their services in this bio, which is not really what we want to do. I'm going to go over call to action a little bit later in this module, but for right now, we want people to click the follow button because this is much more important than getting them to buy a product from you. And it's a lot easier too. They don't have to go to your website and spend money. All they have to do is click the little button and make it green on your page. And once they do this, they will get updates, as you know, from your business for the rest of their life. So this is far more important to make sure you sell the follow button. Don't sell your products or services. A good question I like to ask myself when creating a bio is, what would make your target audience click the follow button after reading the bio that you're creating? So if you ask yourself that, you'll come up with answers. It's like, what, what do they want from you? What do they want to know about your company? What's attractive about it? And what do you stand for? What do you do? Why do they want to support you? Put this inside your bio. This is probably the most important thing you can do. A third little dot point I got here is using appropriate emojis. So I'm gonna go through a few account examples coming up. You can see the more lifestyle branded business or the businesses with a funner vibe using emojis to express emotions or feelings. If you don't know what an emoji is, it's just a little emoticon or little smiley faces or pictures of things inside the text. Now, if you're a serious business, I recommend you don't use these, maybe one or two if it's a picture of an email or something. But uh, for the more fun, lighthearted personal brands, I definitely recommend you use the emojis and I use them myself and get great results. Again, I'm gonna show you examples of all this coming up. A really beneficial exercise that I do for almost every aspect of my Instagram account is I research my competitors or research people who are doing similar things to me and have a similar target audience. And I use that as inspiration for what is working and what's not. I pick and choose different aspects of what I like from each person and I combine it and make it my own. And I then know that I have a really well optimized, proven to work bio that my competitors have tested for me. So if you're in the pizza business, I'm gonna keep going back to this pizza stuff. Look at all the other pizzerias on Instagram, mainly the successful ones. So don't copy someone who doesn't have many followers, but copy the successful ones, ones with lots of followers, lots of comments, lots of interaction, or very close to your pizza store. So you make sure you get in the similar audience and see what they're doing and use it as inspiration for your bio. So I'm gonna now go ahead and show you exactly how to edit your bio. I'm gonna show you a little trick that's really helpful to making sure your bio is aesthetically pleasing on your Instagram account page. And this is making the spacing how you want it to look on your Instagram account. If you're gonna do it through the app, for some reason Instagram don't pick up the exact spacing that you want, and it always looks a little strange. I'm gonna demonstrate this. But the trick is to craft your bio inside the Notes app on your device with the correct spacing and then copy it over to Instagram so it maintains the right format and displays in a very aesthetically pleasing way. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this now. Great, so now I'm back on the profile page of my account. I'm gonna come up here and click the gear icon again to edit the bio. I'm gonna click edit profile down in the account section. Now we've been here a few times. This time we're editing the one next to the I where you get 150 characters to describe your business. So here I am in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how poorly Instagram handles spacing. So I'm just gonna type in the numbers one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna try and hit enter. As you can see, there's no enter on my keyboard. There's just the next key. 
So we hit that and nothing really happens. So I'm going to come back up and try and space it out with the space bar. See if we can get a new line. See if we can uh, manipulate the Instagram bio in any way apart from just having all words clumped together. So here I am, one, two, three, four. I'm going to click done. And you can see how it looks. It's simply just the numbers bunched together. Oh, I'm going to click done here. So the way to do this, the way to get it spaced in an appealing way is to use the notes app. So I'm just going to exit Instagram now and come back to my iPad home screen and then click the notes in the top right corner, which is where it allows you to create a note. So once again, I'm going to type in the numbers one, two, three, four, but this time I'm going to use the return key that the keyboard now lets me press. So just going down one, two, three, four, having it spaced on each line. And you can probably guess what's going to happen is simply once we copy and paste this over, Instagram's going to maintain this alignment. Let me show you this now going to delete the old bio, paste it in and click done. Go back to the profile page and as you can see it's spaced, going to refresh it right now. It's spaced on each line. Just how you'd want to be able to space any bio that you write just so it looks clean and professional for your business. So I already have crafted my bio in my notes as you can see in front of you now. I'm just going to copy and paste this back into my Instagram profile and I suggest that you right now using the tips and hints that I've given you earlier in this lecture. Craft your Instagram bio and do it here in the notes and then simply just copy and paste it over back to your Instagram profile.